Friday's supposed to be a good day. I'm having like the worst day ever between Windows updates and components ripping off motherboards. The only thing that could make me feel better would be some kind of special uh, unboxing, like oh. to do with the TechLinked channel. I, I wonder what it could be. Oh, 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 is that what we're gonna do at the, at the end of this video? Oh, you, you said it. AMD has created a custom system on chip for a Chinese console made by the company Zhongshan Subor, which, wow, you put right in the script, that's not how you say it. How do you know I didn't get it perfectly right? I just had a feeling. The chip has four Zen cores and 24 Vega compute units with eight gigs of GDDR5 embedded memory. That makes it similar to other chips that AMD has made for the Xbox One and the PS4, as well as Intel's processors with integrated RX Vega cores. Subor, plans to integrate the chip in a Windows PC in late August, and then a console by the end of the year. I love these guys already. They have acknowledged that consoles are just PCs, and they're going, well, you know what? Hey, why don't we just put it in both? People seem to be excited about this online, so maybe we'll get a Western knockoff of a Chinese product. What, what, what? <laughs> the amount of leaks and rumors about the GTX 1180 or 2080 or whatever it's gonna be called, they're getting ridiculous at this point. The latest news is that a GTX 2080 and 2070 were registered by tech company Man Li with the Eurasian Economic Commission or the ECC. The listing has been taken down now, but an image of what is supposedly a PCB for the 2080 has leaked with tighter VRAM placements for GDDR6 memory and some type of new connector on the top. Does that mean SLI scaling will be better? Will these cards run at 4K, 144 hertz? Will people just wait for the card to launch so we can stop wildly speculating? I love speculating. This is my wildly speculating hand gesture. Yeah, very accurate. Wildly, yep. why it's wild. That's it. And Tesla is hoping to, that they will, bleh, pfft. Tesla is hoping that Linus will manage to say the news about their company without screwing it up. Oh. They're hoping that they have the smarts to build their very own AI chip. Elon Musk mentioned in the company's earnings call that Tesla is working on doing just that. Now, they've used chips from Nvidia up until this point, but making their own hardware is apparently why they swiped chip engineer Pete Bannon from Apple in 2016. Musk says that using an in-house chip will allow Tesla to better integrate and utilize AI for autonomous driving. Though, personally, I suspect this is probably a cost-saving measure because nobody likes paying the NVIDIA tax. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. Now it's time for so stories so small you can't see them. Brought to you by Private Internet Access, which is so private you can't see it. Look, there's no lower third. You can't, you can't see it. The lights are off. You can't see me. If, if you're looking for an easy to use VPN solution that gives you real privacy, like taking off in a starship to the Andromeda Galaxy, okay, but look no further than PIA. They've got servers in 28 countries to help you get around geoblocking, multiple options for strong encryption, DNS leak protection to protect your browsing history, and even PIA Mace, which is a built-in, eye-wateringly amazing solution for uh, stopping trackers and malware. For, uh, check it out in the link below. On to the nudes or as I call it, the naked news. Prove I'm wearing pants, you can't. French startup Blade is bringing its shadow game streaming service to 19 states in the US on August 9th for 35 bucks a month after it launched in California earlier this year. So check it out if you're a quitter. I mean, just giving up on building your own PC just like that? Come on. It's disgusting, Come on, don't judge it's disgusting. Him. Motorola has unveiled the Moto Z3, speaking of not being a quitter for some reason. And it's a Verizon exclusive, but there will be a Moto mod available in the future that will enable 5G capability, so it could technically be the world's first 5G phone. If Motorola actually builds any mods for it, because they've got a bit of a spotty track record on that. And the reviews are out for Microsoft's cheaper Surface Go, and they're kind of all over the place. They're on The Verge, they're on Gizmodo, oh. they're on the Linus Tech Tips channel where we live streamed an, an unboxing. Everyone seems to agree that the processor is very slow. iFixit gave it a one out of 10 for repairability, but in terms of the actual build quality of the thing, it's really impressive for 400 bucks. Are we doing a review? 
uh, we might do a review. People in the comments really wanted a review, but sometimes I feel like they think they want things they don't actually want, so like everyone. And after some false reports based on inaccurate stock numbers, Apple has indeed finally achieved their goal of becoming the first public US company to hit one trillion dollars in market value. I think that means that we legally have to take back every critical thing we've ever said about no, them, doesn't it? No, don't. no, we don't. don't. Oh, I said finally. I always get it right. I always say finally on the right one. Have you noticed that? It's never in the script, but I say finally and I get it right. But there's another news story. In a real shocker, fancy PC case maker Inwin has made another fancy case for the PC. It's called the 915 and it is complete with motorized top vents that rise up to uh, increase cooling or something. Why, why don't you just have them open all the time? You could just have them open all the time and then your cooling would be fantastic. And now it's time for a special moment. Thank you. You know, I, I've never, I've never, yeah. I've never experienced anything like this before. Sure? I, uh, I, I, I'm just so proud of the entire team here at TechLinked. I'm proud of Linus just and, uh, and, and, Linus. and Riley and Dennis. Right. And I'm proud of, uh, I'm proud of Colton. You know, I'm really proud of Colton because go, Colton. it's important to be proud of Colton because Colton doesn't have much else going for him, you know? Poor Colton. You know, it's, it's tough to be Colton. Dennis. Getting fired all the time. I think we said Dennis. And we say Dennis? I just, uh, this tape and this box. Oh, what? I think, oh, I think what's in here is a, is a letter, a letter from YouTube in a big box. It's a, it's a thick, really thick letter. <laughs> Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement. We want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with great care by, by Rick. Why, why thank you, Rick. And Susan said by that Rick. Too. Oh, and Susan. Love Susan. I wish I knew how to pronounce her last name. Thank, thanks. Is, I, that's as close as I yeah. would have gotten. Oh, look. Oh. oh, oh, wow, wonderful. We got one of the new bitch tier oh. play buttons that are cheaper than the old ones. Oh, are they? Yeah, they, I'm they're pretty sure they're cheaper to make. They are shinier though, but it's, it's not silver. It's more of a mirror. So presented to TechLinked for passing 100,000 subscribers. So I might never have gotten back the NCIXCOM play button, but you know what? Suck it, NCIXCOM, because we're gonna get our own play button. That's right, we get our own play button. That's not right. With blackjack. And uh, hold on, let me see. Oh, look at this thing. And hookers, there's hookers in there. Look. Yeah, blackjack look, there's one. And hookers. See it? Because it's a mirror. Lol. All right, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.